Yo, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna do a viewer request video. A lot of people have been asking about my thoughts about the Clue snowboard bindings. So I've actually been riding the Clues now for about three months. I've been riding them in New Zealand, in Austria, and also here in Utah. And there's definitely some highlights that I wanna point out, some things that are unique and that I didn't expect when I first started riding these. If you guys are unfamiliar with the clue bindings, they're like a two-in-one type system. So you get the traditional straps, which I really love for that secure feeling while snowboarding, but you also get the added benefit of a step in, step out feature. So you can easily step out with these guys and then step back in. So it's a really cool two-in-one kind of setup. The first highlight I gotta shout out is that the release is at the top of the high back. So if you do have any mobility issues like getting down to get your bindings done up, then having the release at the top is so handy because at the end of the day, you don't have to reach very far. So this releases the high back when you go to step out. One of the unexpected highlights of having the high back go with your boot is that when you're on the chairlift, you only have this part of the binding remaining, which makes your board a lot lighter. So if you've ever been sitting on the chairlift and you feel like the weight of your board kind of weighing your leg down, this makes your snowboard feel so much lighter having the high back on your boot and not on your board. The other special thing about the clues is that once you go to step your foot back in, there's no high back or anything blocking your foot from going back in. With traditional bindings or other systems, you may actually have to bend down to lift up the high back, but with the clues, because the high back is on your boot, there's nothing there and you can just step right in. The other cool thing with the clues is the toe strap actually doesn't move. So you don't have to go down, adjust the toe strap. Once you get it tightened onto your boot, it remains in one place. So it's in the same spot all day long. And the toe strap is actually designed too to really hug the toe of your boot. So as you're riding, you feel this like snugly on your toe, keeping you in control, giving that stability from having a secure toe strap. If you need to adjust this guy, all you have to do you can put a little bit of force into it. So if you want it more on top of your boot, you can just angle it that way. Or if you like it a little bit further forward, it adjusts. But while you're riding, it's not gonna move. It stays in the same spot. And like I was saying before, the clues are a two-in-one system. So you don't have to use the step-in, step-out feature. You can just use them like traditional bindings. So if you're doing a hike and say if you're in some deep pow snow and you don't wanna have to worry about the step-in feature, you can just use the traditional bindings, get these nice and tight. Typically, I'm just using the, the traditional bindings if I am in deep snow or if I'm just not feeling like I need to use the step out feature. So it really gives you that flexibility. You can step in, step out, or just stay traditional with it. Another highlight of the clues I would say is the disc setup. So they have the traditional four hole screw system and you can have lots of options. So obviously all the degrees, but you can also angle your binding so you're more towards your heels or put it more towards your toes. Right now I've got it so my binding is actually slightly back towards my heels to center myself on the board. The high back on the clues is also super adjustable and this is typically something you just do once. So for me, I like my high back to be about halfway. It's not completely straight up and down at zero, but I don't have a ton of forward lean either. Just a little bit to make my heel carve a bit more aggressive. So three months now in the clue bindings, they've been holding up super well, no issues. I think the build quality of these is really high because they still have the look of being new bindings. So I've been really happy. And performance wise while riding, I feel like they're just allowing me to ride at my fullest potential. And for me with snowboard gear, the best gear is always the snowboard gear that just allows you to ride, enjoy snowboarding without any hindrances or anything feeling like it's holding you back. Just riding with gear that makes you have the best time out there. If you guys want to check out the clues, I'll put a link below in the description. There's also a 10% off promo code to save you guys some money. Thank you for watching. Have fun out there snowboarding, and I'll catch you in the next video.